Oh dear. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really great day. I'm doing all right. I am just a little bit on the sick side right now. I have a lot of like stuffy stuff going. <laughs> stuffy stuff. Head like congestion going on and I'm a little bit dizzy and a little bit out of it. So hopefully we can get through this video without anything catastrophic happening. I currently look well like this, I guess. I got my bird plumage hair going on and my big sweatshirt and I'm just trying to relax and enjoy the day even being sick. So today what I figured I would do is just do a couple of quick little unboxings for you guys. Because I have not posted a video in so very long. So I guess the first one we're going to do is this is this right here which is the birch box for this month anyway while i go ahead and rip into this i'll tell you guys a little bit about birch box birch box is a ten dollar a month subscription and inside of here i think you get five to six like sample size products last month we actually got a full size product though which is like never happened in birch box like for me at least before so that was pretty exciting i literally can't get into the side of the box i don't know if it's like the sickness making my fingers weaker or birch box is getting even more like impossible to open just do it the old-fashioned way. Anywho, here is the box of the month. It's actually super pretty. I really like this packaging. Every single month, Birch Box will come with a lovely, creative, pretty-looking box on the inside, which will house all of your uh, samples. Alrighty, on the top here, we have a little pamphlet that'll tell us about the products and the full-size value of all of them. Alrighty, so just opening up the Birch Box right here in front of me, I can kind of see everything, so it ruins the surprise just a little bit. But there are some interesting things in here that I have never seen before in Birch Box. I'm pretty excited about that. Let me go ahead and get this thing out, though that was clanking around in there. I knew I heard metal of some sort. All right, the first thing we have here is from Orbe, and I know I probably have said that wrong, but this is a grandiose hair plumping mousse. And I have to say, I don't think I've used a mousse in my hair in many, many years. I used to rock the very like crunchy, curly, kind of frizzy, uh, wet looking hair back in high school. Not exactly my best look, but I used to use mousse for the crunching purposes. And this is supposed to like give your hair a little bit of plump and volume, which I could definitely use. Alrighty, the next thing we have in here is from Clarins Paris, and this is a multi-active jour, and it has 20 SPF in it. It is supposed to target fine lines, and it is an antioxidant day cream for all skin types. I'm sure we're gonna get in here and it's gonna be the tiniest little bottle ever. It does come with a lovely pamphlet. Oh, and look how cute it is. My light's up too bright, I don't know. Do I look like a ghost? Probably. So we just have a tiny cute little pink bottle here. I do like the color of it, it's nice and pretty. By the looks of it in the bottle, I would say you'd probably get a good like maybe two or three uses out of this little guy. The Clarence is a nice brand and I like that it has SPF in it. Eventually one day the sun might decide to shine and it might decide to turn into summer. Right Right now in Kentucky, we're in the middle of like our eighth or ninth winter. It snowed the other day. It was like high of 40 today. So I don't know what's going on with that. But even in the winter time, you still need your SPF. So that's good to have. Next up we have, oh, look at that. Yet another SPF thing. And I do believe I've received this in a box of some type before. It could have very well been Birch Box. It probably was Birch Box to be honest. This is MD Solar Sciences. It just says 30. So I'm guessing that's 30 S. So this is a tinted mineral cream with 30 SPF in it. I'm gonna go ahead and get like a little, little swatch of it since it is tinted to see what it looks like. Oh dear. Oh man. Well, that was super anxious to um, escape its little vessel there. I wish I was more flexible. It got all over my leggings, which I'm not too happy about, but that's okay. All right, so here it is on the back of my hand. You can definitely see that it is tinted. It feels nice and soft going on the skin. It does feel super soft, but at the same time, it also kind of has a very, very oily like feel to it. So if you have oily skin, I don't think this would be the best for you because my fingers feel like a grease slick right now. But if you do have dry skin like me, I tend to have really dry skin around my nose and like mouth area for some reason. It might be nice for that. Alrighty, next up in here we have something from Wilma Schumann, which I think Wilma is an absolutely fantastic name for some reason. I don't know why. But these are hydrating collagen iPads and they're supposed to be a hydration booster for the eye contour area. So I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see in there, but they kind of just look like little boomerangs that you go to 
gonna put right under here under your eyes. This is supposed to have 100% pure collagen in it, so that's pretty cool. So I'm definitely gonna give these a try. I still think I have the ones from BoxyCharm last month that I have to try out, but eventually I'll get to all the eye boomerang things I need to test out. And then the very last thing in here, I kept it to last because it's the most interesting thing I think I've ever received in a BoxyCharm. Oh, this is a BoxyCharm. In a birch box, at least recently. And this is from the Beauty Crop, and this is Glow Milk, <laughs> which the name Glow Milk, again, is just a fantastic name. And this is supposed to be an illuminating milk for your face. And I really, really hope this little illustration on the cap is on the actual cap itself and not just on the outside plastic because it's super duper adorable. I really hope you guys can see that. It's like adorable little milk cartons. I look so excited. And they're all saying shake it up, which I don't know if that's just like they're saying or you're actually supposed to shake it up. So I'm going to follow the instructions of the milk cartons and shake it up anyway. Oh, look at that. It's a, like a little like nail polish paintbrush. I was not expecting that at all. That's pretty cool. It definitely has a very like distinct coconutty smell because it does have coconut oil in it or coconut milk. Which one? Coconut oil. Coconut milk would have made more sense since it's a face milk but it says that you can just use this as like a highlighter. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out. Too bad I'm blind as a bat or I could actually take these glasses off to give you guys like the full effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and dot this in. Ooh, wow. Oh, you guys, I think that's actually really pretty. So this is the side with the glow milk on it and this is the side without. I think it definitely gave a nice luminosity. You could probably also use this without makeup, but I don't really see it like disturbing the face makeup I do have on right now. So this is actually pretty interesting. Definitely something a little bit different and cute. So this is definitely my favorite product out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know the full size prices of these items if you were to purchase like the big old thing of it. So the Clarins Multi-Active Day Cream SPF 20, the full size of it is $54. That is a lot of money for day cream. The MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Cream SPF 30 is $32 full size. The Orbe Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse is $39. $39 for the hair mousse, the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Liquid Highlighter, the full size of it is $19.50, and then the Wilma Schumann Skin Care Eye Pads, full size are $18. So overall, I think this was a pretty decent box. I think this is really like putting it over the edge for me because I'm so used to receiving the same exact like products in Birchbox every single month that this makes me a little bit more excited about it. I'm hoping that they're going to be including more like new and interesting products in their boxes from now on because I really like this little glow milk. Plus it just has the best name ever. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for you for this unboxing. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments of this month's box. Would you enjoy the things that came in this month's box or would you prefer something else? Also, please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, I guess that's everything. So I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.